Good afternoon guys, welcome to a very cold and very snowy Moscow. Today's the 1st of February, it's minus 14 degrees, which is why I'm all gloved up. <clears throat> so tonight I'm planning on going to the cinema because, you know, you have to be inside in times like this. And I'm planning on going to see the uh, new movie Three Billboards, which looks set to win a ton of Oscars. And I was looking online and seeing what other movies they had and kind of the names of the movies and, you know, to see what I fancied to watch. And I noticed that there's something interesting going on with the translations here in Russia. Some of the translations make sense to me. They're just word for word, I guess, translations from the English. And other ones are sort of reinterpreted and some of them to weird and comedic effects. So. I thought I would head to the cinema tonight and have a look at some of the movies, do some research about some other movies and maybe, maybe I can find some comical ones. I started by taking a look at some of my favourite films, and most were pretty good translations. The Godfather is translated as The Godfather. Forrest Gump is translated as Forrest Gump. Goodfellas is translated as Good Guys. The Departed is interestingly translated as The Apostates. Inglorious Bastards is a pretty good direct translation from quite a difficult film name. But then I came across some other movies. Liam Neeson thriller Taken is renamed Hostage in the female form of the word, which is pretty weird considering the girl is not taken hostage, but she's kidnapped. British comedy Train Spotting is renamed On a Needle, which is pretty apt considering the movie is about some heroin addicts. Ocean's Eleven is called Eleven Friends of Ocean, which seems to be a little mistake as the friends, well, there aren't 11 of them because he's part of the 11. The Full Monty is renamed Mushkoi Striptease, meaning male striptease, which is pretty accurate if you consider what the movie is actually about. Fast and the Furious is called Forsage, which means afterburner. Interestingly, Too Fast, Too Furious is called Double Afterburner, and Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift is called Triple Afterburner Tokyo Drift, and after that they just continue with the numbers, so it's Forsage 4 and Forsage 5, Afterburner 4, Afterburner 5, and so on. All of these translations so far haven't been too different, but some of them are rather strange. 2013 biographical drama film of Steve Jobs, called Jobs in the UK and the US, is here called An Empire of Temptation. 2002 coming of age film A Walk to Remember is called Hurry Up and Fall in Love which seems more like advice than a movie title. 2006 American Denzel Washington crime thriller Inside Man is perhaps immorally named They Don't Catch You, You're Not a Thief. 2012 American political thriller Zero Dark Thirty is called Target Number One. The movie Hangover is called Bachelor Party in Vegas. And interestingly, Bridesmaids is called Bachelorette Party in Vegas, seemingly copied from the first one. Both of them have pretty uninventive titles. The Christopher Nolan classic Inception is apparently Google translated as Nachala, which means like beginning, as in the inception of something or the beginning of something, when a better translation would be Nadrenia, which means inception in the other way, sort of a thought planted into somebody's head. The hilarious movie Shaun of the Dead was renamed, which is understandable considering the pun of Dawn of the Dead and the main character's name, Sean, is pretty hard to do in a foreign language and is perhaps untranslatable. But for some reason they translated the movie as a zombie named Sean, which is, well, spoiler alert, wrong, because Sean doesn't become a zombie. Now I'd like to play a game. I'm going to say the name of a movie and you have five seconds to guess exactly what the movie is in English. And I'm going to give you mm, six different movies. Number one. Diary of Memories. 
Number two, a cold heart. Number three, tough nut. Number four, the lord of the storm. Number five, underwater gang. And number six, my boyfriend is a psycho. Okay, so time for the answers. Number one is a 2004 American romantic film, The Notebook. That was Diary of Memories. Number two, Cold Heart is 3D computer generated animation movie, Frozen. Maybe you would have got that one. Number three is 1988 American action movie, Die Hard. Number four, Lord of the Storm was actually 2008 war thriller film, The Hurt Locker. Number five, Underwater Gang, was actually Shark Tale, the 2004 computer animated movie. And number six, My Boyfriend is a Psycho, is actually 2012 American rom-com, Silver Linings Playbook. Thanks for watching, and personally my favorite one of these translations is My Boyfriend is a Psycho, which is really the strangest one. I hope you found some of these funny. If you liked the video, please subscribe and please like, and if you know any others, please comment below. Thank you.